Me and my friend Justin are now a third of the way through our journey cycling across the USA, all to raise money for the fantastic cause, Get Kids Going. We wanted to drop a quick video on our rest day today here in New Orleans to show you some upgrades that we've made to our setup. Quite significant changes too. This is our new Burley trailer. To be specific, it's a Burley Coho XC, which I'm guessing stands for cross country and that's what we're doing, so very appropriate. It's a one wheel bicycle trailer with a quick release system that fits onto the through axle of pretty much any bike. I've got it on the back of my Scott Addict Gravel and it means we're gonna be able to carry Justin's wheelchair on the back of my bike instead of on the back of his bike. Why is this important, Francis? I was about to ask you that. Why is this important, Justin? Well, there's a number of things that we've discovered from towing a wheelchair on the back of a handbike. Number one, it's really difficult. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was easy. Yeah, I know I make it look easy, but it's exceptionally difficult. The, the change in the aerodynamics, the drag that it's increasing on me, uh, and just the extra rolling resistance has, uh, yeah, been interesting. It's definitely making me stronger though, uh, but also causing me more injuries at the same time. But more importantly, we now know why my wheelchair started falling apart. Vibrational fatigue on aluminium. Potentially. Rare. Almost definitely. Almost definitely. That's, that's why my foot plate fell off and that's why my chair has a very big risk of completely falling apart. So we now have the trailer to protect my wheels. So why aren't we putting the trailer on your bike? Isn't that more fair? Do I have a through axle that it can join onto? Yeah, good point. Yeah, there we are. Do you know there's a maximum speed on this? What's the maximum speed? 15 miles an hour. We're gonna have another video tomorrow with different upgrades. 100% gonna exceed the speed limit. Hey look, if you're okay with your bike potentially getting damaged, I'm okay with my wheelchair not being. <laughs> There's a guy here that just uh, drags a, a big speaker. Who's the guy with the speaker? So nobody knows his name. He just walks around New Orleans, literally just plays tunes, don't know why. Uh, but yeah, that's really about it. <laughs> we oh, don't, like we it. don't know why, but he's just a good guy his hanging out. His ears must really hurt. Oh yeah, they must hurt. Yeah, most definitely, yeah. Maybe he's got earplugs in. Notable features of the Coho XC. A really, really small rear wheel on the back. Just one, which means the bike should handle a little bit nicer than if you had one with two wheels on the back. I don't know what size wheel that is, but we do have some spare inner tubes for it and a patch kit. It has a mud guard on the back. It hasn't been much of an issue so far. We haven't really ridden in the rain, but if it does, I suppose it stops you from getting sprayed. And it acts as a nice sturdy area where you can strap some extra stuff too. The whole thing is aluminium, super light cage, and then there's some canvas covering the edges so stuff doesn't fall out. I would like to say this was on purpose, Justin. It wasn't. It fits the wheelchair in perfectly. It was as if it was made to fit. We are quite lucky, aren't we? Perfect fit. It's almost perfect fit. We do have one issue. What? Where are my wheels gonna go? Uh, we can either put them on top, precariously, and strap them, or we put them on your bike. On top, precariously it is. We will have to do some tinkering and the wheels can probably go under here and then bungee strap on, but on the whole, pretty good solution. And there's a big sort of cavity underneath the wheelchair where we can put all of the panniers and the tail fin that's gonna come off my bike. Because obviously you can't fit that anymore because the tail fin usually uses a through axle system and we've had to change the through axle. So there's gonna be a little bit of tinkering for sure and getting used to the new system. We've shortened our ride days out of this city on purpose because of that, because we don't really know how it's gonna ride and how long it's gonna take us to faff around and pack all the stuff. It has a through axle adapter. So a quick release system where you lift a little lever up, clip it on, and then to remove it, you just pull the lever again, which is two normal kind of brake style cables, and then it lifts straight off. Really, really quick, really, really good. I should probably mention that this is not sponsored by Burley. We just found the best looking trailer we could online that had one wheel. Why does it need one wheel? And Raul helped us get it. Thank you, Raul. Why does it only need one wheel, Francis? Well, I think one wheel, less friction, as you've discovered, towing your wheelchair behind you. That is true. It does come with this net thing. I don't know if that's gonna stretch on top of all the stuff, but we've got extra bungee cords as well. I think the bungee cords are gonna be a better solution because they come in different lengths and different sizes. And then finally, it has a kickstand. So when you take it off the bike, ugh, simple as that, you can have that on the floor and it doesn't tip over. Where is the other wheel actually gonna go? On top. I'm gonna put both of them on top. First test ride. You got the kickstand. 
it's got a massive pivot point in it, which makes it so easy to move around. Definitely easier than when you have a handbike on the back. Yeah, because your handbike is really long, but it doesn't move. articulate. <laughs> Whereas this, I don't know, something, uh, it's surprisingly easy. It's going to be lighter for you, that's for sure. Lighter? What a cool looking dude. It's like a short version of Jimmy Page. Here's a demonstration of how easy it is to detach the trailer. That's how easy it is. That marks the end of our little update. We still have a bit of our rest day remaining, so we're gonna use it resting and then be back on the road tomorrow. So stay tuned for a video in the day after tomorrow. Link down below to get kids going and thank you for supporting our trip.